Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can sell a digital item through your WPE store and use the the BitPay eStore add-on um, for accepting payments. So you can use you can accept payments uh, with Bitcoin using the BitPay add-on, um, pay, payment gateway gateway add-on for WPE store. So the first thing you want to do, um, you have you already have your WordPress installation set up with WPE Store installed. Now what we're going to do is um, upload the add-on, and simply you you would install it like any other plugin as long as that as long as WPE Store is um, installed and activated. So just click on Add Now under Plugins. Click on Upload. Choose File. Double click the eStore BitPay gate, Gateway add-on. Install now. Activate plugin. Just click on WP eStore and then eStore BitPay to configure the settings. All right, then just check on Enable BitPay. And you can specify a transaction speed or leave it at the default. And then you can put in a BitPay selector label. And this is just if you have more than one um, gateway. This will show up in the drop down list, whatever you want to put in there. And then order information page title, whatever your preference is there. And for the API key, to get that from your BitPay account, you simply log into your BitPay account, click my account. Under security center, click API access keys. Click the plus add new API key button and copy your key to the clipboard. And once it's copied the clipboard, you can paste it right in here. Okay, I just grabbed mine from my BitPay account, pasted it in there, and then click on, I clicked on update. And then you'll see at the top settings updated. Okay, so to test it out, um, I'm gonna jump to a product here over this. I'm gonna add it to the cart. Then I'm gonna go to the checkout page, refresh this page, and then I'll see the item in the cart, and then I'll have the payment option to pay by BitPay. And that's all there is to it. And here's where the title shows up that we configured earlier. Okay, that concludes the tutorial. Again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.